Just the Bible. Pure Bible reading. Just that. This reading is from 1 Kings 12, 1 through 24. And if this is a blessing to you, I'd like to encourage you to subscribe to our channel. Click on my icon on the screen below. Then Rehoboam went to Shechem, for all Israel had gone to Shechem to make him king. When Jeroboam, son of Nebat, heard about it, he stayed in Egypt, where he had fled from King Solomon's presence. But they summoned him, and Jeroboam and the whole assembly of Israel came and spoke to Rehoboam. Your father made our yoke harsh. You, therefore, lightened your father's harsh service and the heavy yoke he put on us, and we will serve you. Rehoboam replied, Go away for three days, and then return to me. So the people left. Then King Rehoboam consulted with the elders who had served his father Solomon when he was alive, asking, How do you advise me to respond to this people? They replied, Today, if you will be a servant to this people and serve them, and if you respond to them by speaking kind words to them, they will be your servants forever. But he rejected the advice of the elders, who had advised him and consulted with the young men who had grown up with him and attended him. He asked them, What message do you advise that we send back to this people who said to me, Lighten the yoke your father put on us? They replied, this is what you should tell them. My little finger is thicker than my father's waist. Tell them, my father placed heavy burdens on you. I will make them even heavier. He beat you with whips. I'll flog you with bull whips. Three days later, Jeroboam and all the people returned to King Rehoboam as he had instructed them. The king ignored the advice of the older men and spoke harshly to the people. As the younger men had advised, he said, My father placed heavy burdens on you. I will make them even heavier. He beat you with whips. I'll flog you with bull whips. It was the will of the Lord to bring about what he had spoken to Jeroboam son of Nebat, through the prophet Ahijah from Shiloh. This is why the king did not pay any attention to the people. When the people saw that the king would not listen to them, they shouted, Down with David and his family! What have they ever done for us? People of Israel, let's go home. Let Rehoboam look out for himself. So the people of Israel rebelled leaving Rehoboam as king only of the people who lived in the territory of Judah. Then King Rehoboam sent Adoniram, who was in charge of the forced labor, to go to the Israelites, but they stoned him to death. At this, Rehoboam hurriedly got in his chariot and escaped to Jerusalem. Ever since that time, the people of the northern kingdom of Israel have been in rebellion against the dynasty of David. When the people of Israel heard that Jeroboam had returned from Egypt, they invited him to a meeting of the people and made him king of Israel. Only the tribe of Judah remained loyal to David's descendants. When Rehoboam arrived in Jerusalem, he called together 180,000 of the best soldiers of the tribes of Judah and Benjamin. He intended to go to war and restore his control over the northern tribes of Israel. But God told the prophet Shemaiah to give this message to Rehoboam and to all the people of the tribes of Judah and Benjamin. Do not attack your own relatives, the people of Israel. Go home, all of you. What has happened is my will. 
They all obeyed the Lord's command and went back home.